It's Beer O'Clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Black Hops Brewery in Australia and it's a can of their Code Red Red IPA. This one coming in at 6.2% ABV in a 375 milliliter can. I like their kind of almost it's it's great branding. They just kind of changed the bottom here of the little bit of wrap uh, that goes on. It is de maybe it might be a printed on. Yeah, I think it's printed on, but they've just changed the print on the front of here. Whether they change it to green and call it their session IPA, but I like that kind of. You know, it's a black hops beer. Thank you very much to Mick in Australia for sending me the beer. Let's get it open into a glass and see what we get. Love a red IPA, and it seems the Australians love a red IPA as well. It seems to be a very, very popular beer style that seems to make its way over to the UK from Australia. From Mick, of course, or, or maybe, maybe, I tell you what, just maybe it might be Mick who loves his red IPA, knows I love my red IPA, so he's like, yeah, I'm just going to search for a few red IPAs for you. It may not be the Australian kind of like beer styles to want to drink. It might be just Mick and I's beer style that we want to drink. But it certainly looks like it's, it, it's a very popular style in Australia. So we've got a two finger slightly off white head. It looks a beautiful beer. It almost looks like um, an English mild to look at. In the camera anyway, but if you look as I'm looking, I'm looking through the beer and then through the window. So there's a certain amount of light reflecting off the beer. For me, it's looking like almost like a cherry cola, if you like. Uh, good levels of carbonation. Let's get the aroma on the beer then. Yeah, I just it's just I think it's just something that that I really really appreciate I appreciate the the darker malts the sweetness of the malts that come through mixed together with the probably I've not read the side of the can I'll read that later on for you but probably Australian hops those big juicy Australian hops maybe some American and New Zealand hops thrown in the mix as well but it's that combination of of that sweet but biscuity darker malt flavour, red malt flavour with the hops that I really like. I just think it fuses so well. Touch of licorice, touch of biscuit malt, a little bit of sweetness. It's a touch of tobacco smoke in there as well. And then, of course, your orange peel, fleshy blood orange, grapefruit flavours coming through. I'm going to dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, yeah. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. For me, immediately, big licorice roasty toasty flavors coming through lovely bitterness on the back end from the hops but it's almost like a battle i think i like the this style of beer so much because it's a battle that it's almost like the like the good old-fashioned battles you see on the television like like in norwegian times or or middle england in the in the in the mid-century where they charge at each other from two sides and with their swords and they're all running towards each other this horse is galloping and rah, and then they kind of hit each other in the middle and then they just stop and go why are we fighting let's shake hands the malt wants to give you a load of flavor the hops want to give you a load of flavor when they hit when they hit in the middle, it just, as I mentioned earlier, it's like it's like fusing an atom or, or whatever it is, scientific thing that they do. Maybe, I'm not saying splitting an atom, but, but fusing, the flavours just seem to work together. Those lovely, rich, sweet, biscuity, fruity malts mixed together with the beautiful New World hops. Just gives flavours of licorice and a touch of vanilla and...
Then, then towards the end, it, it's almost in your mind, you can split it. You can pick up the sweet malts, you can pick up the biscuity flavours, and then you can split it over, then you've got your hops, you can put your hops over there in your mind. And then over here you can go, yeah, I can, on the hop side of things, uh, did I say hop or malt then? Anyway, I, I, I meant malt over there then. So, so on the hop side of things, I'm thinking orange peel, flashy blood orange, grapefruit, bitterness coming through. You can see by the lacing on the glass as well. It's, a, it's still a refreshing beer, but it's got an element of mouthfeel here, like a slightly kind of medium mouthfeel coming through with the amount of malt in the beer. And you can see that mouthfeel as I rock the beer back and forth. You can see that, that carbonation fighting to, to chase its way to get back to where the head is. It's fighting through the, 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 the mouthfeel of the beer. You can see the volume, if you like, that volume of malt in the glass. Made by three mates on the Gold Coast. I've never been to Australia. Maybe one day I'll get a chance to go out to Australia and have a look. Uh, brewed and packed by Black Hops. Uh, Gardenia Grove Burley Heads, Queensland, Queensland, Australia. Certified Australian Independent Craft Beer. Here is the description. A classic American red ale boasting a rich toffee malt body and a luscious ruby red colour. The minimal yeast character provides a clean finish allowing the aromatic American and New Zealand hops to take centre stage. I just feel the Australians when it comes to beer. I mean, yeah, but we've got a fantastic choice here in the UK. There's, there's some fantastic choices in America. But I just feel with Australian brewing, it's, I, I mean, it's not just all about New England IPA. Just showing, just showing you this beer. I, I bet Black Hops, I've probably reviewed one. Um, I, I bet Black Hops make an amazing New England IPA and I bet lots of people lap it up. But that doesn't then stop them making a hoppy red ale. I like the fact that the Australians, they have this kind of diverse, they may buy a couple of cans of New England IPA, they might buy an Imperial Red Ale or they might buy an Imperial Stout or, or Saison's. They seem to have more good old fashioned American double IPAs as well with the bitterness on the back end. They're still selling well in Australia. This, this seems to be more of a kind of a, an open mindedness towards beer styles, hoppy beer styles and not just brewing something cloudy and really fruity with a little bit of bitterness on the back end. Make no mistake, I love my New England IPAs. I love them as much, as much as most of you out there watching on the channel. But I also like variety when it comes to brewing hoppy beers. Red ales, red IPAs, American double IPAs, American IPAs. There seems to be a massive emphasis, certainly in the UK, to, to just like almost perfect the New England style of beer. But then that leaves gaps for people like me who, who want to, I mean, I'd love it if, if Cloudwater or Verdant brewed a hoppy red IPA. I'd love, I'd love to try that. I reckon it would be fantastic, but they just don't. They just don't do it and nor do duration or nor do track I don't believe it's all about juicy 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 which again I'll, I'll emphasize I'm not attacking anybody here I love that style of beer but I just wish there was a little bit more variation with like the top top end brewers at the half not just UK then let's hit America Trillium at the half Treehouse let where's their red IPAs where you know it's it's all about kind of juicy New England IPAs. And I just feel that the Australians, I'll mention it one more time, the Australians seem to have this balance. They have this balance with 
hoppy beer that it's not just about New England IPA. And I really, really appreciate that from an Australian brewing. I'm going to rate it. It's fantastic. I love the rich, malty flavours coming through, the biscuity kind of toffee notes. They mentioned toffee on the side of the can. Toffee, biscuity, sweet notes, lovely mouthfeel to the beer. And then the hops are on parade. Then the hops are doing their showcase. I love that. For me, that's a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Thank you very much to Mick in Australia for sending me the beer. We got, I think we got one or two more, maybe. Yeah, we got two more from Mick to review shortly. Um, thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.